Right, let's go Norway. 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 Snow. Snow. Sick. I mean, yeah, maps being easier to get used to, whatever, doesn't really phase me. I've got to be able to see on every map, haven't I, at the end of the day. I've got to be able to at least know what the fuck's going on on any map that I might be playing on. I can't just be like, no, I can't play Harlem because uh, I can't see. <laughs> Good luck in your MG pickup though if it's happening. I saw that it was kind of close and then I saw you launch the game. So. Go to Seven. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. Send me, send me those things. I'll try and sort it out a bit later. Check my check my visibility settings against other people's. Maybe have to consider that this game is instagib and I need to play at 100 FOV rather than I want to play like 130 is kind of killing me now. I'm going back. Probably going to drop down to 120 because I'm playing so much defrag at 110. Because 130 defrag is brutal. <laughs> The speed you're going with the 130 is actually brutal. Um, I might drop down to 110. I bet you can put auto exec.cfg in your configs folder. Yeah, I might stick it with 110 then. I was on 110 the last time we played. Because I was at 130 and I rejoined the game and I was like, oh fucking hell, it's blown my brain out. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to do Midnight Guns until I've done this. This records all these runs. And to be honest with you, like to be completely perfectly honest, there is a solid chance that I never actually really play Midnight Guns that much. Unless it has a jump mode that I get into. But even then I doubt it. Because it Like I was saying earlier, where I just can't get good at first person shooter games. I would have to constantly play them to be of like I'd have to constantly play them to remain at a competent level where I'm basically just using the fact that I know the game and that specific game well. And that's it. Because I honestly seem to not carry over any residual skill at all in anything.
Like I went back to I haven't played Defrag for a few days very much. Played some last night. Fucking sucked. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't hold the mouse still. I couldn't aim properly at the crosshair. I've gone from being able to hit 99% strafe in a straight line to not being able to hit 80% strafe. I was like, fuck, is this what it feels like to be Mackie when you're playing Defrag? Shit. And then, of course, as soon as I said, I've got no idea how the fuck you strafe anymore, somebody told me to go watch my own guide. Actually, in fact, three people separately told me to go watch my own guide, which was hilarious. Like that. Cheers, lads. Cheers. Go into CPMA, play B0 Beta 6, and make that for Midnight Guns. I will love you forever. You will never see me play Midnight Guns. If you do that, you'll probably never see me play Midnight Guns actually shooting anything. But... <laughs> it would be so good. And make sure you find... I'll show you... I'd have to show you where it is. If you if you are genuinely going to do it, do the lev the regular levels that uh, B0 has where you go through and you learn the basics of movement and then you go do some more advanced stuff using those basics of movement. But also... Um, uh, what the fuck's it called? Something's training room. There's a hidden training room. Back of the map, behind some uh, portals that are coming soon and have been for the last two decades. Behind them, through an invisible, well, through a visible wall, but it's actually like a Minecraft painting sort of thing. You can just walk straight through it, and then there's a bit of water, and then a teleporter. Nah, I reckon you got 80%. If you had the strafe efficiency thing on, you'd have 80% in a straight line.
This is how you wall kick. Yeah. I've seen on Sir. Uh, what? I can't remember what game it was. But it just had very simple wall markings. And I think in uh, Midnight Guns, you could keep within their style by having, like, kick. You'd have to show people generally outside of the game how to do it, because looking at the at the kick mechanic, I don't understand it. And I've played a lot of these games, and I don't really understand how you kick. I also can't remember what button I've got it bound to. I should probably figure that out. Apparently it's quite important. I should probably bind it to something better than whatever I've got it on. It's probably on V. But yeah, yeah, you get you get slowly harder and harder. So, uh, what's uh, B zero? B zero. You start out. You start out. You do a double jump off a off a ramped ledge, which is pretty easy, and it's pretty it's pretty low. In fact, if you're trying to speed run B zero and try to go through it fast and fluidly, you want to do a really shit double jump. Because if you do a proper like full ass double jump off of that thing, you go sky high straight up. <laughs> um, then you do another double jump, but this time off of something slightly smaller to show you that you can double jump off of fixtures like lights quite a lot of the time. Then you do a drop down thing. Uh, like a 180 drop down, then you jump over a circle jump thing, then you jump over a circle jump thing onto a bar that's quite tight, so you have to make it and then you jump again, uh, but you have to keep strafing to be able to make it over the second one, and you also over jump it if you're very good at circle jumping. Uh, <laughs> It's built for not defrag. It's not built for defrag. It's built for uh, CPM gameplay. So if you do a, if you do a circle jump like you would do inside of a duel, you'll make it perfectly. If you do a circle jump with a full 180 flick like you would do in defrag, you are going to over jump it. You then get a troll circle jump, which is possible apparently, but it's absolutely nails. Um, but it's a troll. There's a fake floor. So you just land it. Then that's level one. Level two is something else. Something else. Teleport jump. Uh, technically, you're then supposed to jump across with a circle jump and do a button press. But you can, uh, and then use the double jump off the button press to turn around. But that's really difficult to do. So instead, you jump across, hit the button, turn around, try the circle jump, probably miss it because it's actually quite far. Uh, and then just drop down from the re-teleporter. Then that's level two done. Level three, I can't remember, but it's about as far as I used to be able to get. Tower is really difficult. I can't do tower. I can do everything from tower except for the very end, actually. And then there's some other shit. And there's loads of different training rooms. And then there's the free room. What did I do? I think you're on a very long delay. Tell me when you get this message. Okay, you're not on a very long delay, you just can't type very fast. <laughs> it's been like three things where you've replied with a very small message like a minute after I've finished talking about that thing. 
and I'm like looking at the message and thinking, fuck. The only reason I say it's because Twitch, for me, a few times this week has been, um, has put me on a, a delayed message thing, like on a, on a delay, when I know that the streamer has like a short delay. But I'm looking in chat and I'm like seeing messages. If they've got chat on screen, it's coming up like 30 seconds to a 45 seconds too late. Yeah. Just use whatever words. Doesn't matter if you're perfectly right. Fuck anyone who tells you, oh, you're wrong because you use this instead of this. It fucking makes sense as long as we can communicate with each other. Honestly, this isn't a professional setting. It's fucking IRC chat. No one's using capital letters. No one's using punctuation. No one gives a shit. Everyone's writing the letter U instead of Y O U. You know. Fuck it. As long as it vaguely makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, ask. Right? Like, it, it annoys me when people are doing that. Because you can guarantee that nine times out of ten, the people that are doing it, the language they're complaining about is their first language, and they probably don't know another. Like, I don't know another language other than English, other than very basic bits of German. I can order pizza and I can talk about cycling in French. By talk about, I mean I can say LA, LA, chapeau, mon vélo est bleu. That's about it. I don't know why I said blue. I haven't got a blue bike. I just like straight up haven't got a bike. Blue, it's blue. I have many bikes, just don't have a blue one. Alright, see ya. If you are still here, you're correct for writing colour with a U. You're also correct for writing it without a U. But you're correct for writing it with a U. You're more correct for writing it with a U. Because I've heard you say colour and you say colour rather than colour. which means that you should use a U. I don't know. Kind of makes sense to me if you say color. Americans mostly say color. So it makes sense that that's how it's spelled. But color over here. Or color. Colour in it, bruv. Go down doula. Go down B and Q and get the doulucks. The one with a funny dog on it, innit? I have to do four, four runs tomorrow to finish this off tomorrow. I really want to finish it off tomorrow. But I. There's no way I'm going to be able to rip through all of Germany today. So I just have to do Germany Kenya tomorrow morning, which will be a bit brutal. But. 
rip out Germany, Kenya tomorrow morning. I can do it because it's the end. Because, like, the end is there, I'll be able to do that grind. And I'll just start a bit earlier than I was expecting in the evening and do the morning. I was kind of half gonna not do the morning run for playing and play something else, but yeah, I'm gonna have to because there's no way I'm getting through Germany tonight. It'll be by the time I finish this, half past. Why is this taking so long? No, oh, no, it's about right. I think I've just AFK'd a bit more than I normally would. Play Defrag in two days. Actually, I should submit to... Uh... Hold on, DF comps. That's your boy. Have I fucked up and missed it? I've probably fucked up and missed it. We have 11 minutes. No, I can't do it because I can't stop this. Never mind. Never mind, I've fucked up and missed it again, as always. I forget it finishes on a Saturday, not a Sunday.
I mean, I will in a bit. I'm literally going to finish this run. That title was a lot more accurate when I started. <laughs> I really was fighting to stay awake when I started doing this. I will be fighting to stay awake if I continue doing this any longer than I'm going to. And uh, try and do two more hours of this shit. How has it been three hours to do this? Japan's quite long, but Norway's supposed to be really short. But I have been driving like absolute arse, to be fair, today. I'm not very good at Norway. It might be short, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Same with Finland, it's crap. <laughs> Speedrunning terms. Why did the two... My two worst countries have to be the two fastest by far, by like 10 minutes across the entire run fast. Across all 12 tracks, which makes a big difference when you play uh, career and it's random. You get random countries and random tracks in career. So, you know, it makes a bit of a bit of a big difference when I play career and the two fastest countries by far so it's not like I can even make up for it by being faster elsewhere I just need to get good at these or not play career and just play you know countries I enjoy and I'm fast at like Kenya
reach it. Final Fantasy XIV can be played for free, up to including the whatever pass, I can't remember the spiel. It was a bit of a meme in a community I was in for a while. Just regurgitating the advert of Final Fantasy. It was quite funny, because it was a bloody effective advert. <laughs> it got a lot of people to play Final Fantasy. And me to, at the bare minimum, look up if I could play Final Fantasy on Linux. The answer was, eh, maybe, but probably not worth it. Nice. I have heard it's one of the best levelling experiences. Because some games are just kind of a monotonous grind and that the only reason to be there is the end game, World of Warcraft. But yeah, I think one of the things that definitely does pull it together is the fact that you get to follow the story through. And that there's a real, proper, genuine, long-term story in it. And it's a Final Fantasy game, so it's, you know... It's got that going for it, with uh, making it interesting. Completely the opposite of Guild Wars, where there's just micro stories everywhere. But you don't have you don't have to do anything in Guild Wars. That's why it's so good with that sort of thing. It's you don't have to do anything. What do you want to do? You can literally just walk around the map and level up as long as you're prepared to travel to one of you know a bunch of starting different starting areas and do the shitty starting areas for peanuts. Right, nice one. Cheers, Turbo.